So your example aside, mm -hmm. you immediately assume when you see a macro trend that affirmative action and DEI means we're going to elevate race above competency. And I think every single person in this audience, if you go into a surgery mm -hmm. and all of a sudden your doctor comes and he says, hey, I was hired because of DEI. I really don't know what I'm doing. You're about to go under. We're about to operate on your kidneys. Like, whoa, whoa, whoa. You're not going to say diversity is our strength. What's up, YouTube? Hope you guys are feeling good. Today, guys, we're back again with a new video. So go and check it out. Simple argument crushes. Diversity is our strength lie. Okay. This is by Charlie Kick. I call him Charlie Kick. We got a lot of kicking us. I love us check this video out together. Let's get right into it. Kind of want to ask you your uh, comments on your DEI statement about seeing a black pilot, yep. right? Prior Air Force vet, worked in airframe my seven years while I was in before I was medically retired. Um, so I fixed them for a while. I become a pilot. Let's say I'm your pilot. You see me. I want to know your reaction to seeing me as your pilot. Yeah. Do you immediately think like, oh, I'm glad I see him or so? So j what did I say? Uh, if I remember correctly, you said um, you see a, uh, I believe you see a black pilot at this time. Uh, you're wondering, hey, is this the right guy? This, that, the other. My question is, you're, why you're, is you're close. All right, yeah. let me tell you exactly what I said. Sure okay. Thing. Thank you. So this was in response, first and foremost, to United Airlines yep. saying that half of all their new pilots that they're going to hire are going to be women or people of color. Currently, they're 15 percent. Okay. So they want to go from 15 percent to 50 percent. Mm -hmm. A conversation that ensued about how every time affirmative action is employed, standards have to be lowered. There is not a single instance where that is does not occur. So then I said, I said, boy, if I see a black pilot, I'm now going to wonder, is that individual qualified or were they selected because of their race? Comma, but that's not who I am, but this makes me think this way. And gotcha. I stand completely by that statement. Okay. Secondly, yeah. let me just finish. Sure yeah, sorry. DEI and affirmative action, what it does is it lowers the merit, it lowers the threshold of standards and increases things that do not matter, such as skin color and mm -hmm. ethnic background. So that, that is what I said. Okay. So I just want, like, you see me and... So I, if I see you as a white individual, I think that you were selected because of your competency, okay. not because of an affirmative action program. All right. So let's say I apply as an African-American because I am African-American. I just look very white, which is legit. Um, are, are you South African or... No, no, no. My father's black. My mother's white. Okay. M my father raised me. Uh, so I identify with how I was raised, who I grew up with, stuff like that. So my point is, I can identify as black and get hired under a DEI, let's so to speak, uh, saying that I don't get all the uh, proper flight hours, I'm a bomb ass fucking pilot, all that shit. But you see me, you immediately see that I'm white. You don't. That's not cause for you to concern and be like, I wonder if this guy's got it. You see me, right? Well, again, just going back to what I said. Yeah. I, a white individual does not have special hiring quotas or practices that are giving them an extra leg up. In fact, it's the opposite. So let me use a similar analogy. At Harvard, white and Asian students mm -hmm. had to get two or 300 points better score on the SAT than comparable Pacific Islander, Native American, or black students. And this happens across the board. This is happening in medical schools. This is happening in surgical, pra surgical practices. So your example aside, mm -hmm. you immediately assume when you see a macro trend that affirmative action and DEI means we're going to elevate race above competency. Mm -hmm. And I think every single person in this audience, if you go into a surgery mm -hmm. and all of a sudden your doctor comes and he says, hey, I was hired because of DEI. I really don't know what I'm doing. You're about to go under. We're about to operate on your kidneys. Like, whoa, whoa, whoa. You're not going to say diversity is our strength. You want the best surgeon. Now, a more important question to ask me is, Charlie, would, do you believe that black pilots can be qualified? Of course, any individual can be qualified. I want a hiring quota and program that only cares about qualification, not skin color. And thirdly, I would say, why does United Airlines care so much about the color of the pilots that are flying them? Shouldn't they just want the best pilots? When you guys are flying from Vegas to Dallas or Vegas to Chicago, are, are you gonna feel safer or more comfortable when you hit turbulence if you have a diverse pilot or if you have a cockpit of the most qualified people that are there that have proven that they know how to land and fly planes. Yeah, uh, thank you. I uh, yep. just want to ask one more thing for that. Um, how do you, because I saw the video, you used the Harvard perspective as well there. How do you feel about legacies in that regard? Because 
legacies obviously have a leg up in getting into certain institutions just based on who went there before them that is close to them. Uh, how do I feel? I think I think legacies are somewhat against merit to be consistent. Yeah. Uh, so I mean, just want to make sure you're but, consistent. But I will say though that lo that the study of legacies have been done because their parents are smart. They're usually actually pretty smart. And so the moving average is that legacies aren't nearly as unqualified as some affirmative action people, but there are plenty of unqualified legacies that get into Ivy League institutions nope. to be consistent. Sweet. Thanks. Thank you. Yeah. Appreciate it. Anytime. Okay. This is actually interesting to watch. It's, it, it was not um, argumentative, uh, which is beautiful. Um, <clears throat> United Airlines, um, they are choosing to hire um, more people from different diversity and colors and more of women it's 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 beautiful to hear that but i i don't want i don't care who the pilot is flying the plane either being black white latino no as long as you are qualified it's as simple as that you can be any race you can be any color you can be a woman you can be a man but as long as you are qualified you are a professional that's what matters so um i love how charlie gave this guy explain to him in details what he means by his word, by qualification, not just <clears throat> out of choosing race or color or um, be okay, a woman should fly. No, you must be totally qualified in order to, to perform the practice. If a surgeon come meet you today and said, oh, they just picked him out and this, this, um, he's not too sure what he's doing. You won't allow him to touch your body. If a pilot just tell you um, he's just trying to learn, so they're just trying to move the plane to land with over two hundred or something people flying with him, you'll be scared. You want to leave the air, you want to leave the aircraft once. So what matters is qualification, not race, not color, not gender. No, you have to be qualified. That whoa, this is person is sound. This person is a professional. He has flew twenty times, ten times. He's really good at. I want to do. That is all that matters. You understand? So um, I, I love the entire um, debate. It was just really beautiful to watch. So the guy was trying to make a twist to trick Charlie to tell him that he's an African American. Um, Why well, well, if you go register under that and you didn't know because his skin color is a white man, you won't know if um, he's an African American. His race is this. He was born by a black man. You won't know anything. So Charlie trying to tell him that. I don't care about your race. I don't care about where you're coming from. What matters is what you are doing, you are qualified. That is what matters. Like it's, 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 it's beautiful to watch this video and it's self-explanatory. You don't have to shake it to that. It's self-explanatory. Charlie was really precise and very clear in his statements. This was really lovely to watch. I, I, I love how Charlie dealt with this issue. He really dealt with it very well. And brought a lot of clarification for people who watch it and kind of misunderstand it at first the, his previous video that this guy that came over here watched so he was kind of like he didn't actually get charlie correctly so him coming here to to clarify the entire scenario really meant a lot to him and also to me too so comment below think about this video give us a thumbs up share this video to, video to as many as you can subscribe to our channel i'll see you guys in the next video make sure you stay safe i, I just want a bag like an old lady I'm back, wood smoking, I don't own papers, pass that 808, that don't, don't shake her, oh bitch, you know I'm grinding like a pro skater, baby mama bugging, I'm so quick to hit ignore, buku bitches in my bed, I got scales all